Hey y'all, how's it going? Uh, I am gonna walk you through the empirical formula lab. Um, it is Sunday night right now and I feel like death. Um, I'm, I don't know, got a lot of ibuprofen in my body right now that's keeping me alive and getting me through this sinus infection. Um, and it's the, it's the middle of the night. You wanna see what Lenworth looks like at night? I'll give you a hint, it's super creepy. It's dark, and there's lots of weird noises, and it's just really dark. Um, so yeah, scary. Um, so anyway, the empirical formula lab. Uh, so on, uh, I don't know, whenever I saw you guys last, a long time ago, you uh, put some zinc in some hydrochloric acid, and the zinc reacted and it, it dissolved. Basically there was a reaction that uh, took away all the solid. And so all that was left was liquid. And you can see that I've got some here. This is uh, Sierra and Augie's. And if you look at it closely, you can see there is no solid at all left in there. Um, and, but it's been sitting here all day. It has, or all, not all day, all week. Um, and I've actually got it on the hot plate right now. And so, uh, it's gonna, as it boils away, uh, what's gonna happen is all of the water that's in there is gonna go away and it's gonna leave um, a solid at the bottom. And this is zinc chloride. And um, what you'll notice though is that the zinc chloride is still pretty wet. Um, zinc chloride is actually a hydrophilic substance. Um, hydrophilic means that it's water loving. And so when we go to the next step, we want to actually weigh the zinc chloride and see um, how, what the mass is, what the mass of the solid zinc chloride is. But before we do that, we want to make sure that it's just zinc chloride and not water. And so since this has been sitting here all week, it's picked up a lot of water. So you are going to set up a ring stand. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat and a vest, it's because it's freaking cold in here. I don't know if they like turn the heat off on the weekends or what. Or maybe I just have like severe fever chills. That's also very possible. Um, anyway, so you're gonna set up a ring stand like that, like you guys have done before. Um, and remember, all that stuff is in your drawers. So just uh, at your stations, um, you should have wire mesh in there. You should have rings, Bunsen burners. Um, and then remember the ring stands are over here in the corner of the room. They're in this corner cabinet so you can get them out of there. Uh, and so you're gonna set up this thing, you're gonna put your zinc chloride up there and you're gonna turn the Bunsen burner on. Um, and the, so the thing you gotta be careful about here is that this will start to smoke. Um, so after, after the water is driven off, um, then at that point you'll just be heating the zinc chloride and it will start to smoke. So at the point that it starts to smoke, you wanna turn off your Bunsen burner and you are good at that point. And um, then you're gonna take your beaker, not with your fingers, because it's gonna be hot. Use some tongs, um, take the mass of the zinc chloride. And then you wanna do it at least one more time just to be certain that you've got all of the water off. So just bring it back to your ring stand, heat it one more time. Um, again, wait until it starts to smoke. Um, go record the mass again. Um, if the mass is the same, then you're probably good. If the mass went down by quite a bit, then that could be an indicator that you still have um, a decent amount of water, and so you might want to even do it a third time. Um, so we just want to get rid of all the water so that we're just recording the mass of the zinc chloride. Okay? Um, all right, so then at that point, um, you guys can uh, check out, you can clean up your area, first of all. Um, and be extra careful when I'm not here, if you're using Bunsen burners, um, be super careful. Um, so clean everything up, put it back in your drawers and every, everything back where it came from. And then uh, you can move on to the calculations on page 14. If you check out the agenda that I have on Schoology, if you just look at our daily agenda, um, pop through the next few slides, I, I kind of did a little walkthrough for you. So uh, hopefully that will help you to complete the empirical formula lab which you are gonna do a formal lab report for, so put it in a Google Doc format. Um, this one shouldn't be too bad though. There's no, there's no graph or anything, so 
Uh, it's just it's just your data table calculations. Uh, make sure you show your work in your calculations, and then um, there are four conclusion questions. And again, use the agenda that's on Schoology. Um, I have I posted like four slides. So after the daily agenda that has the plan for today, look through the next four slides or so, and um, you will see a, a kind of a walkthrough of this lab. Okay, and then after that, you can do the uh, mole molar mass and molar calculations page that you can pick up. Uh, I'll leave it on my desk and you can pick that up. And then I, I've got some videos posted for that as well. All right, I am gonna go die on a couch somewhere. Bye guys, good luck.